Welcome back. Let's jump into motorsport now. Karan Patel is one of the top local drivers aiming to race to fame when Kenya hosts the Africa round of the World Rally Championship, the Safari Rally, later this year. Hailing from a motorsport-rich family, Karan is revved up for the safari after winning in Arusha last year. CGTN's Joy Kiruki Juma brings us more. Karan Patel's entry into motorsport was ordained at Bath. His father was a co-driver and two of his uncles were drivers. But Patel's first love was not rally cars, but motorbikes. Initially, before rallying, what brought me to motorsports is actually the love of uh, riding motorbikes and then getting into racing motorbikes. Um, well, that was in uh, the year 2005 up to year 2012. And uh, we managed to be the East African champions actually for, for motocross um, when, uh, when I had just finished and then moved on to now uh, studies. After studying in the United Kingdom, Karan returned with a new passion. His family supported his rallying dream and entered him in a WRC event. He is the only Kenyan driver to have taken part in a WRC event in the last 18 years. We went and did uh, um, the Drive DMAC Fiesta Trophy, which involves driving two-wheel drive cars, specifically front-wheel drive. Um, with um, It was a one-litre turbocharged engine. So, again, I went there thinking I was you know, a very, very good driver, but it, it was an eye-opening experience. Um, I learned a lot from just being a, in an environment where there's world rally drivers, world, car, uh, world cars, world rally, uh, uh, world rally cars, and then uh, world-class drivers. Karan has been rallying consistently since 2014. He switched gears from a Subaru G68 to a Mitsubishi Evo 10, and now his latest top-of-the-range Ford Fiesta R5. This is true testament to his commitment to dominate Kenya and Africa. For me to get to the pace that, um, that the, the current top drivers are at today has taken some time. Um, I still don't think I'm 100% there. We still have a lot, uh, you know, respectively we have a, uh, relatively we have a lot to go, a long, a long way to go, but, you know, the likes of Baldi and, and Carl Tunde, they've been rallying for, you know, four or five times the amount of time I've been rallying, so I'll never have the same experience as them, but um, it, that's not stopping us from being as fast as them. After the Kenyan National Rally Championship was suspended due to COVID-19, Karan entered and won the Kilimanjaro Rally in Arusha last year. He's now looking forward to the WRC Safari Rally in July. Now we're with Tosif, first rally. For him, it's his first win, so I'm sure he's very happy. And for me, it's uh, my second win, um, both, both times in Arusha, but hopefully I'll get some more wins here in Kenya. So I'd, I, I, I really wish to be uh, an African champion one day. And um, I think the WRC coming back will also help, um, help us uh, raise awareness of our own team. O only, only if we finish um, in a very strong position, you know. Uh, so we are looking forward to WRC. Yes, for sure, we have an R5 vehicle, so um, we will be in the WRC2 category. Karan is one of the promising young drivers in the continent, and his desire to showcase his talent shines through his competitiveness and attention to detail. His mind is set on winning the African Rally Championship to follow in the footsteps of compatriot Manver Barian. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN.